sounding the alarm. It's definitely rising, no question about it. We're seeing at least one patient a week. Dr. James Hamill says medical professionals at local hospitals are seeing more and more cases of people using bath salt, including a case at Rogue Valley Medical Center in the last 24 hours. Uh, the patient who was brought here after lighting himself on fire has now been transported up to Portland. The doctor said he was too badly injured to be treated here, just one of the latest victims of this dangerous drug. The doctor wanting to educate other doctors and police on how to understand, diagnose, and prevent the drug in his presentation. He says bath salts is also known by many names, including plant food, mephedrone, and MCAT. The drug is extremely addictive and effects can last for days. The drug is not traceable through toxicology reports and symptoms manifest themselves in dangerous ways. Rapid heartbeat, chest pains, suicidal thoughts, and... Temperatures up to 107.5. That is not compatible with life. You basically cook to that. Recent reports of bath salts causing animalistic activity, necrotizing fasciitis or cannibalism, and public indecency are increasing the concern, especially due to the drug's target audience. This is all the kids. This is all the young people. Right, this stuff isn't being marketed across the board. These are specific demographics. Currently, 40 states have banned the substance, including Oregon. But new designer drugs are being developed all the time. There are actual compounds out there that can do this that are still legal. Causing medical professionals and law enforcement to constantly fight an uphill battle, which is why Dr. Hamill is warning the public. The most uh, violent and agitated um, self injurious people we've ever seen are on these substances. And there's no question that uh, they are a, a very serious threat to our community's health. Raising a red flag to the community that bath salts are here, an ever-present danger. In Medford, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News.